Howdy, friends. I'm so happy to be here on a Saturday. It is delightful, um, even though we are in the midst of a cataclysmic event here in the game. Hello, Brody. Good to see you today. <laughs> Great to see you. Um, all right. <clears throat> so, right now, we just entered the Cave of Origin, and we talked to our new friend, Wallace. And he is just like, listen, we got to go to the Sky Pillar so we can figure out what's going on with our with our dudes, Groudon and Kyogre here. So now we're gonna fly to Pacific Log Town, which is super great. And as you can see, the weather has not spread down here yet. All is still well. We still have our happy little seafaring town music. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry. So now we got a surf. Got our boy Ziggy surfing. I know you're happy about that, Brody. Um, alrighty. Ah, yes, I still have a rappel up. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna hop over here, and this is why we made such. Um, well, sorry. There we go. This is why we made such an effort to get to Pacific Log Town because we can just squeak through this little pathway here and this is going to take us to this secret cave area Ooh. and this is where we get to the sky pillar and upon exiting our friend wallace will greet us here oh my i'm terribly sorry in my haste i didn't notice that i'd left you behind i've opened the locked door of the sky pillar Ooh. Ooh. it's an earthquake there's not a moment to waste so now Wallace takes us up here to the Sky Pillar. It's kind of like this old skyscraper, kind of in the middle of the ocean. I mean, it's kind of sticks out like sore thumb, but it's all right. Ah, and now the weather is starting to spread. Hmm. So Wallace is going to go back to Sutopolis, but we are going to be the ones to take care of Rayquaza. Um... The repair was spraying for three days. <laughs> um, so, we hop in here, and here's the Sky Pillar. It's a pretty, like, nondescript building, at least at first. You just kind of go up its floors. Um, and there's a little bit of debris here and there. And as you can see, when we get up here, we have those little cracks in the floor that we saw in the Mirage Tower. This is actually going to become very important later. Um, excuse me. And then this will let us drop down to the middle section where we can go to the last little bit here. Uh, hopefully I can just make it. Okay, great. And now we have made it outside. Oh, <laughs> Repel. <laughs> There's Rayquaza, the awakened Rayquaza flew off. Um, and this part of Emerald is so cool. It's not complicated uh, because now that we have awakened Rayquaza, all we have to do is go to the Sky Pillar and do it. We can fly back to Sutopolis City and here, let's just sit back and watch. They're still battling, but... Our new friend Rayquaza descends from the heavens to quell the fighting. It's beautiful. And now, 
the rain and the sun is going to stop. As you can see, it's slowing down. And we get our music back. That's a big bird. That's a big bird indeed, Brody. Um, okay, so now um, we are back to normal here. We have um, quelled the fighting of Groudon and Kyogre. Rayquaza has returned back to its roost, um, its nesting place. And we can talk to some people here. Um, <laughs> Ray said, stop fighting or I'll get the belt. <laughs> yeah, they'll have to pick their own switch off the tree. Um, all right. Archie, Kyogre and Groudon both flew off to who knows where. The weather in Hoenn has returned to its normal state. Ha ha ha. Maybe what we were trying to do was something small, even meaningless to Pokemon. What does Maxi have to say? So the super ancient Pokemon weren't only Groudon and Kyogre. After all our fruitless scheming and frantic efforts, that one Pokemon's simple action puts everything right again, as if nothing had happened. Ha ha ha. They've both been humbled, have Archie and Maxi. It's delightful. Um, so now we'll talk to our new friend, Wallace. Uh, my eyes didn't deceive me thanks to your help, Zootopolis. No, all of Hoenn was saved. On behalf of the people, I thank you. This is a gift from me. Please accept it. Oh, yes. So Wallace gives us the HM for uh, Waterfall, which we need to get to the Pokemon League. However, we do need the badge from Zootopolis City to use it. Let's see. Mm-hmm. That's right. You have to beat the Zootopolis Gym Leader. Um, so that's delightful. Uh, Steven says something nice here, too. Ah, yes, this is cool. It looks like both Maxi and Archie have gone away somewhere. Perhaps they've gone to Mount Pyre to return those orbs. That's actually exactly where they went. Um, it's a cool little scene of them kind of, like, apologizing and returning, uh, making, um, amends for what they've done, which is nice. We can go back there and experience that at some point. Um, uh, love that reflection. Super Ancient Trio. I thought it was the Weather Trio. Yeah, a lot of people have their own kind of names for what these things are. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure this is a special NPC. A pretty Pokemon. What? No, it's not. Maybe it's this person? No. It might be later that person shows up. Let me go into a building. Ah, because let me show you this. If we go up here, kind of near where we walked with Steven in the very top left corner of Sutopolis City, we have this fellow here, and he will give us a really nice TM. It is the TM for the move Brick Break. It's a really good fighting type move, and it helps you bust through Reflect or Light Screen. It's actually really good. Um, and we are going to save that for a special occasion. Um, okay, let's see. No, it's still the same. Um, so, right now, I am going to get the squad back together and we are going to fight some trainers in the Sutopolis gym. Um, oh, interesting. So, Pokemon has said it's not called a starter Pokemon anymore. It's called a first partner Pokemon. That's very interesting. That does make it sound more, like, friendly, I suppose. Um, we have our boys, James and Harry. Don't worry, Ziggy will probably return for when we need to go through Victory Road. Ah, crap, hold on. I'll just do it later. Um... I was going to teach Tentacool Waterfall, but I'll just do that at a later date. All right. So now we've saved the world, which is all fine and dandy. But now we've got a gym to defeat. I also hope the curse doesn't come back. We'll, we'll, we'll see, Brody. Um... So this gym puzzle is very interesting. What you have to do to get to the next level of the gym is you have to walk on each tile of the ice only once, and then the next uh, set of stairs shows up. But if you walk on it twice, you'll fall through. All right, and there are three levels to this. What I am going to do is I am going to um, fall down on purpose 
um, so we can get all the trainers in here because all of the trainers are below the gym for when you fall through. Uh, let's just start with Blaine and Ron there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. How's everybody's week? Um, how was everybody's week? Mine was pretty solid. Um, nothing too crazy. My wife was off as well as me, of course, here on my summer break. It's been it's been lovely. Um, we do have a lot of... Oh, wow, both of these Pokemon are trying to use Attract. Um, we do have some family stuff next week. So my schedule might change a little bit. I'm still planning on... Um, Still planning on streaming Monday, um, but it might have to be a couple... Oh, wow, they've got some full restores. Might have to be a couple days during the week um, that I don't usually stream. And Blaine is just getting absolutely annihilated by this here attract confusion combination they've got going, which makes me very sad, and I hate it. Um, let's see... Oh, wow, is that true, Brody? Um, that's an interesting fact Brody just brought up. The only gen with no, like, big ice-type trainers is Gen 7. Wow. That is very interesting. I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, wow, I had never thought of that before. Because, of course, in Gen 1, you got Lorelei. Um, in Gen 2, we have Price. Um, I don't think Blaine has been able to attack one time this entire battle, and that continues. That is so annoying. Uh, Love Disc. I mean, Love Disc, it's not... There we go. It's not a particularly good Pokemon, um, but it does have some strategies to... There you go. Oh, yeah, it uh, fell out of love because we killed the other Love Disc. Love to see it. Wow, a lot of love in that sentence. Da -da. Ah, uh, yes. It is kind of annoying for Harry. We have a ton of water trainers here, and Harry just doesn't have a lot of coverage in his arsenal to deal with water types. I mean, we know Twister, which is a fine attack. Oh, wow, it's faster. I guess Love Disc is a speedy little fella. But as you can see, it is not very powerful at all. Um, there are a lot of times where they really had an opportunity to give Love Disc an evolution. Um, there is a Pokemon, I believe it's in Gen 7? Maybe even Gen 5. I actually don't remember when it comes in. I think it's Gen 5, actually. Um, it's called Alolomola. Alolomola? Alolomola. I think that's it. Um, and it looks like it should definitely be an evolution of um, Love Disc, but it's not... Love Disc has always remained just a single form, weak little guy. For whatever reason. Um, <laughs> ice is supposed to be a glass cannon type. Name three fast ice types. There really aren't any. You got Weavile. Is that about it? Um, I can't really think of any other fast ice types. At least that's the only one off the top of my head that I can think of. Um, we might have better luck with Surf, and we do. There you go, Harry. Da, 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 da. Wow, a lot of these trainers give a lot of money. A lot of money. Da, da. We'll, let, we'll let James go with Harry. So this first little area is pretty straightforward. The second one is two. There we go. And I'm going to fall down here on purpose, actually. Dude, there we go. We're going to fight all these trainers here. Da -da 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 -da. There always looks to be a lot of spaces where you can do a double battle on this lower floor, um, but they actually don't let you do any, I'm pretty sure. Um, all of the trainers will run into you, like, one after the other. Um, well, there we go. Surf is just a solid little two-shot. Um, funny enough, Waterfall, many people don't know this, but Waterfall, Goldeen just used it, used to be a Goldeen and Sea King exclusive move. It's actually a Generation 1 move. I didn't realize that for the longest time. It's actually pretty interesting. 
Um, name three defensive ice types. You probably name all ice types. I think a mammo swine. That guy's pretty. That guy's pretty chonky. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, rest. Classic rest. I mean, Harry, it's a little bit annoying trying to hit through some of these water types, but Harry's doing a pretty decent job with Surf. It does better than Twister. Um, and we'll be at level 39 before too long. And we can use some better, go to some better areas to train Harry. But Carvana, this could be a one-shot with Surf. Carvana is so frail, and it is. I mean, it's a critical hit, but um, Carvana is one of the most frail Pokemon you're going to run into. But for Sharpedo, we'll use Sceptile. Mm. I love Sceptile very much. Leaf Blade was one of my favorite moves growing up. Let's just appreciate the battle animation. So cool. And that should be a one shot. And it is. Lovely. Even though that rough skin's gonna hurt just a little bit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna work our way through these trainers here. Oh, and this is nice. Azuril is just a normal type, so that's just a regular one shot. Um, we're gonna work our way through these trainers here, and then we are going to challenge our uh, the gym leader here in Sutopolis City. Excuse me. And that should get us to eight badges. Um, I know, it has an ice puzzle and underneath there's snow, but it's a water gym. That doesn't make a ton of sense. Um, basically, they were just like, okay, we gotta do something for this puzzle. <laughs> Okay, Azumarill's trying to roll out. Luckily, this rain is boosting our surf a little bit. Um, I would like the rain to stay for one more turn good. So that way... Okay, that's just an orange berry. We'll be fine here. Lovely. Love to see that. Um, Azumarill is kind of like a low-key good Pokemon to use in this game. Um, it actually got way better in future generations just because it got access to the fairy type. Um, which is insanely good. Um, but unfortunately, the fairy type does not exist in Generation 3 in Pokemon Emerald. It was introduced in Generation 6. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, Clam Pearl! This is a Pokemon we haven't seen yet. This is one um, Pokemon that is exclusive to the sea floor. If you remember, right outside of Sutopolis City, where we are, where we are right now, there's kind of like that algae grass. Um, when you dive, and that is where you can find um, Clam Pearl, which is neat. Iron Defense, that's no big deal for our special attacking Chimeco. Um, Corefish, uh, we'll just use Guzzle, because Guzzle can probably overpower this bad boy. Um, Corefish, this is another interesting Pokemon that you don't really see a lot in your playthrough. I'm pretty sure... The only place I can think of where you can catch Corefish is Petalburg City in those little patches, uh, those little ponds, by, like by the gym and then the lower lower left there. Um, and it's faster. I mean, I guess Gus is quite slow. Okay, good. That's Yeah, that's the only place I can think of where you can catch Corefish. You can probably catch it in other spots, but that's where I immediately think um, is Petalburg City there. Um, and we're actually going to see Corefish's evolved form in not too not too long here. Probably gonna fake out here. Oh no. Love to see that. Perfect. Um, but yeah, Corefish is a cool Pokemon. I tend to enjoy kind of like crab type looking Pokemon. Kingler is one of my favorites of all time. So let's see. Let's keep. Let's keep it going. It's like right there, I wanted to walk in between them so there would be a double battle, but she has to step in front of the other lady, which annoys me. Another Azumarill. I'm pretty sure Azumarill is more, yes, it's a little more physically defensive than specially defensive. Um, yeah, Piccolo would be better in general if there wasn't like good foils to grass types 
just because like Ludicolo is part grass and Tentacruel is part poison. Um, let's see. So James is actually our first to 40. Let's, uh, no, Piccolo will be able to level up in the gym fight a lot. Let's see if Guzzle can take down this here, this here lady. Oh yeah, and I believe all of the trainers in this gym are female, which is an interesting little, interesting little tidbit. Um, I'm very glad it used Flail instead of a water move. Um, well, if it keeps acting silly, Oh yeah, Guzzle holds on. I mean, Guzzle's the goat. That's how it's always been, you know? Um, yeah, every single trainer in this gym is a female, which is very interesting. And it kind of goes with, it kind of goes with the theming because the theme is supposed to be very kind of like, I don't know, like flamboyant, very like, uh, focused on showmanship. Um, and I guess they're just describing the gym leaders as like effeminate men, I guess. Which could be, you know, any kind of sexist you want to describe, but it was 2003. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> the G in guzzle is for goat. That is true. That is absolutely true. Okay. So now we're gonna give the gym leader a try. I actually don't know what he starts with. Um, I will start with Blaine. Sure, sounds good. Um, let me do this first. Lovely. All right, so we have some good stuff so far. Let me go ahead and save. All right. So, here is the puzzle for Sutopolis City's gym. You go up through here, and you gotta go around each rock. You always have to leave yourself a space right by the front so that uh, you can land right in front of the stairs. Now, I think in Emerald, they actually made the last puzzle a little bit easier. Um, because I remember struggling with it a little bit more in Ruby and Sapphire. You always kind of have to move in these little boxes and kind of weave through, so you make sure you hit every tile like I'm doing right now. Or at least that's how I do it. You can maybe do it differently, but... And then... There you are. You're at the gym leader. Okay. He starts with Love Disc. That's actually solid. We can start with, uh... We can start with Blaine. Uh, but, I will say, Love Disc is probably going to be female and is probably going to try to use Attract. Let's try Guzzle. We'll try Guzzle against the Love Disc. Um, if Guzzle's going to survive against anything, it might be against Love Disc. Um, Alright, so, in Ruby and Sapphire, the gym leader of Sutopolis Gym is Wallace. But, in Emerald, they change it to his mentor... Juan, which is also a delightful little water pun type thing. Um, and here we go. Let me ask you, did you know? Ah, I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I had given up my position as the gym leader. In my place, I had entrusted Wallace with the gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to make a comeback. Ah, but enough chatter. Let us begin our match, shall we, please? You shall bear witness to our artistry, a grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. I love Wallace and Juan. They're very similar. They're very, like, like well-dressed men. Um, they're delightful. I love Juan's design. He's so great. It's actually funny because I was talking about Better Call Saul last stream. Juan actually reminds me of Lalo Salamanca, if anyone's ever seen Better Call Saul. Um, so here we go. And he actually has a lot of the same, he has a lot of the same Pokemon that um, Wallace does in Gen, um, in Ruby and Sapphire, rather. Let's see, okay, that was a critical hit. I feel like, Ah, what should you vandalize? Um, let's see. Maybe you can do something with Lugia. Uh, 
Okay, it looks like the great guzzle experiment just isn't gonna go very well. That makes me sad. Oh well, it's okay. I'll bring Piccolo out here to avenge. Lovely. We'll just use Leaf Blade. I imagine this will at least come close to one-shotting. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Probably just should have started with that, but that's okay. Um, Celio. Yes, Celio is... Um, if you recall, we saw Sfeel in Shoal Cave. And Celio is the evolved form of Sfeel. Um... And there it is, as you can see. It's kind of like a walrus-looking Pokemon. Um, Rock Tomb's going to be good because it will slow it down and be super effective because it's part ice. Hopefully. Okay, so that's not great. But we were able to get off a of Rock Tomb. Um, I was really hoping that would do half. Um, if that was able to do half, maybe if we can do an Iron Tail that can finish it off, because now that we're faster, but we miss. Uh, oh, do me or cheer? Oh, okay. Um, you can do something else with my, my face without glasses. Um, okay, so Celio's speed is down. We probably want to... We can just use Piccolo to clean it up. <laughs> what did you do? Oh. <laughs> um, a Leaf Blade should be able to clean up Celio here. It will have ice moves that can be super effective against us, but yes, we're able to take it down. That Rock Tomb was probably helpful. Piccolo's going to be the star here today. Um, Kingdra is the main difference between Juan and Wallace. Wallace, his ace is actually a Melodic. Um, but when Juan takes the gym back over, his ace is the Kingdra here. Now, Kingdra is interesting because it has some really good strategies that it will like to employ. Because it can use double team, it can use rest in tandem with a Chesto Berry. Meaning that when it uses rest, it will fall asleep, but then the Chesto Berry will immediately cure that sleep, which is really good. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to put it to sleep first um, with Yawn here so I, I can kind of waste that Chesto Berry um, with James here. And as you can see, it's already starting to try to set up double teams right now, so it's going to be very difficult to hit. Now, there we go. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's actually, it's interesting, and there's that Chesto Berry that we wanted to get rid of. Um, so now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to put it to sleep again. Um, and as it's setting up its double teams, this might be the wrong strategy, but I'm doing my best here. Um, okay. So now, Harry does have Twister, which could come in handy. Um... But I'm going to see if I can... Oh, and we do have Dragon Breath. That can do some damage. I might try I might try to use Dragon Breath here. Um, I don't know if the Kingdra has a Dragon move on Wand's set. Um, okay, it just uses Double Team. I'm pretty sure it has Ice Beam, so Blaine's not going to have a great time generally. I am happy that we were able to put it to sleep, but I truly hate that it is plus four in evasiveness. Um, that's going to make it extremely hard to hit, as you can see here. Um, yeah. And there's that ice beam that we didn't want to see. Lovely. Um, okay, great. I am going to try to use that yawn combo again, if James can get it off, but I'm confused. Oh, great. Clutch hit on the yawn, James. Um... And here I'm going to go into Piccolo. Another double team, man. This Kingdra does suck, Brody. This Kingdra is not fun to fight. You just can't hit it. Um, and Leaf Blade would be great. Um, but the issue with Leaf Blade is that... Uh, or the issue with Sceptile, rather, is that the Kingdra has access to Ice Beam. 
So, okay. I think my strategy is I'm going to match cheese with cheese. I'm going to use twisters and I'm going to use recovers um, to see who can who can outlast the other. Um, because Kingdra's moves aren't going to do much. I'm pretty sure it knows Ice Beam and it, I think it knows Ice Beam and Water Pulse are its attacking moves uh, because it has um, Rest and what you call it uh, Double Team. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to outlast it um, and hit enough moves <laughs> so that I can finally defeat it. And the issue is that it can just keep using Rest like this. Um, I would love to have a move like Leech Seed or something that could be some consistent damage throughout the battle. Um, there we go. Man, the real issue here is... Oh my gosh, and now we're frozen? That is ridiculous. Okay. Do I have any full restores? I have one. Um, I might just save it. Just use a hyper potion and a lava cookie or something. All right, and now we're also confused, but that's okay, because this two, this full heal will be a two for one. It'll heal our freeze and our confusion. Um, <sighs> There's so much cheese in this battle. You need a grater. Brody, classic. Great one. Um, okay. So now, I'm not entirely sure what to do here, friends. Um, because the Kingdra might just be able to outlast us. Um, okay, that's a great critical hit. But the issue is he can just use rest whenever he wants. Um... Like right there. Um, wonderful. And eventually we're going to run out of twisters because we're going to keep missing. But if I, I mean, hey, if I can make his Kingdra just start struggling, I don't care, man. I'll do it. I'll do what I got to do to make this battle work. Um, oh my gosh. Well, what else was I talking about? My week was pretty good. <laughs> oh, my lord. I'm excited for uh, the holiday coming up. Um, we have July 4th. I know, Brody. I'm so sorry. Um, we are just stuck in, a, stuck in a time loop right now with this Kingdra. I don't know. Because eventually it's just going to have to start only using rest it might be out of ice beams at this point um there we go and i'm just gonna have to start using weak moves but yeah i started i started uh, our stream today a little bit early because i'm actually um going out with some friends later which i'm very excited about um because my wife is actually out of town tonight. I'm going to meet meet back up with her tomorrow. Wow, this water pulse is really just... Really just a delightful time. Um, so I was kind of on my own tonight. But uh, we had some friends of ours ask me to hang out, which I was super happy about. Let's see if we can get a freeze. If we can get a freeze on this blizzard, that would be clutch. Or a critical hit! No! Oh! Oh, dang it. Oh, and he has a hyper potion. I think he has two hyper potions. Um, <laughs> the people who watch this with speed up are weak. Hey. You gotta take in the full the full experience. Getting a critical hit blizzard there was wonderful. We probably could have served to to have Harry hold a never melt ice. Um, let's see, snapped out of confusion. All right, I have one more blizzard. Let's just use recover. Um, okay, so now we might be getting to the point where Kingdra is gonna kind of run out of moves to use, 
And, I mean, our, our boy Harry is definitely going to run out of moves to use. Okay, as you can see, he's trying to use double team. Um, he's trying to use double team and rest um, without really anything. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to switch back to Piccolo. Okay, I want to make sure we still have some Leaf Blades. Um, Chimeco has a physical move. I'm going to see if we can use some Screeches. Just so I make sure I don't waste my Leaf Blades. But I, I might just go ahead and do it anyway. Okay, yeah, I don't want to waste him yet because I want to wait until he doesn't have any rests left. Um, so that way he can't heal himself back up as easily. Um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> we had that Ray that special Rayquaza thing, and now we are just fighting Kingdra. Um, and what's funny is he still has a couple Pokemon after this. Um, all right, so now Kingdra is minus four on defense if we can get it all the way down to minus six which is as low as it can go i can start using quick attacks i can even use some double edges with um chimeco there we go awesome um you know what i haven't used any of these yet i'm gonna go ahead and use a soda pop we got these all the way back in slate port city when we beat all those trainers in that little beach house um, okay, so now it's finally started to use Struggle. So Struggle doesn't do that much damage, but I want to be careful. Um, what does a Quick Attack do if it's... Alright, so now I, I don't care, man. I'm stalling you out. I'm stalling you out. I'm just going to wait for you to kill yourself if I can't hit you. Um, because I really need to save some Leaf Blades, because... Um, we need those Leaf Blades to deal with the rest of the Pokemon in the gym. Um, there we go. I'd love to just hit one more quick attack right now. Come on. There we go! Goodbye! <laughs> well, I love that I was able to show off, like, the worst-case scenario <laughs> of Wands Kingdra. That's really what Wands Kingdra is always going to try to do. It's going to try to set up that evasiveness and use rest and the berry and it's just terrible and we hate it. It took forever. It was really annoying, <laughs> but it is now gone. Um, and our boy Piccolo is easily going to be able to cut through this Whiskash um, with a leaf blade. There we go. Because it is four times weak to it. Hmm. And that's fair, Brody. That one Kingdra is a reason to not play Emerald and to play Ruby and Sapphire instead. Gosh, that was so terrible. Oh, yes, and here's Crawdaunt. Um, Crawdaunt is um, the evolved form of Corefish. Oh, it's actually really cool. It is a water dark type, and you can see some, like, patterns on its head and on its kind of stomach chin there. I think it's supposed to, like imitate a Sharpedo, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but we should be able to take care of it pretty easily. Hopefully this is a one-shot. And it is! Hooray! Woo, doggy! Player defeated leader, Juan. Ha ha ha, excellent. Very well, you are the winner. <laughs> From you, I sense the brilliant shine of skill that, were, that will overcome all. However, Compared with me or even Wallace, you are lacking in elegance. Perhaps I should make you a loan of my outfit. Dot, dot, dot. Ha <laughs> ha, I merely jest. <laughs> Rather than my clothes, I shall reward you with this, the rain badge. I love Juan's little joke. He's delightful. So now we get the rain badge, that lovely badge right behind his head. All right, having the rain badge shall assure you the full obedience of all your Pokemon to your every command. Uh, yes, and now we can finally use Waterfall, and we will definitely need that to get to the Pokemon League, um, which is nice. Um, and he gives us a nice TM for Water Pulse. It's that move that his Kingdra kept using. Um, it actually has a really high chance of confusion, which is bonkers annoying and something that I don't really enjoy. <laughs> 
Um, but it is a pretty good move. It's because it can confuse so much. Um, it's actually not that powerful. I think it's only like 60 power or so. Um, but let's see. Let me pop over here. With that, yes, this is what I was looking for earlier. But with that, we have all eight badges. Absolutely delightful. There they are. Um, we haven't looked at our trainer card in a while. I believe it's the Stone Knuckle Dynamo Heat Balance Feather Mind and Rain Badge. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, I know, dude. <laughs> it was a very long fight. Um, but yeah, very happy to have all of our badges now. Now, um, we're kind of getting into like the end game of the main story. Um, we'll be able to do some kind of like loose end stuff that I'm excited about um, as we get closer to the Pokemon League. But I want to highlight this little uh, NPC here. She says, hi, what's your name? Okay, that's nice. My name is Kitty. My mommy and daddy named me that so I would grow healthy and warm hearted. That's what they wished. You can have one of these. Obtain the corn berry. So this is a rare berry. And this little girl here, I believe, is modeled after one of the developer's daughters. Um, I actually don't don't remember which developer. It might be, might be one of like the main directors. Um, but that's such a cute little detail, and it and it's based on his daughter who was really young um, when they were working on this game. Um, and it talks about how they want her to grow to be warm-hearted and kind, which I think is so nice and such a good little Easter egg. Um, she gives us another berry too. Uh, I wonder what kind of wish is included in your name. What a beautiful line. <laughs> um, <laughs> four hardest trainers and Sydney. Yes. Um, yeah. So I love that little girl there. Um, let's see. So now we're going to do a thing or two here. Um, for our last little bit of our stream, let me do this. I want to buy some Ultra Balls because I have my sights on a certain on a certain Pokemon. There go buy some Hypers, some Revives. Uh, buy five more. While I'm at it. Okay. Um. So let's. I'm gonna give it a try. We can always come back if I can't do it <laughs> in the amount of time that we have. But I wanted to fly to Pacific Log Town because I want to go back to the Spear Pillar. Not the Spear Pillar. That's next game. <laughs> I want to go back to the Sky Pillar. Um, because when we go back to the Sky Pillar, you'll notice that there's something a little different about it. Um... <laughs> yes. There we go. Alright, so now... We're gonna hop back over here to the Sky Pillar. Oh, we actually might be able to fly there now. Can we fly back? Can we fly to the Sky Pillar? I don't know. Nope. Okay. Um, all right. So now, here we are. We're back at the Sky Pillar. As you can see, there's a lot more kind of like stones and debris scattered about um, because a certain Pokemon was awakened and was kind of like pounding about. And as you can see, there are a lot more of these um, mock bike floor puzzles here. And Enable to get back to Rayquaza to catch it, um, you have to get through all this mock bike stuff. So I'm going to do my best to do that. Let's see. Um, ah, crap. <laughs> all right, I kind of forgot how it went. So this, there's going to be a little bit of trial and error here. Um, ah, is is a green bird up here? Absolutely. There's a big green bird. Um, and there's this is a big difference between. Um, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Okay. There we go. And now I 
have to, whoop, there we go. There's the first floor. Luckily, they give you like a buffer floor here between each um, puzzle. So if you fall down, it won't like cascade on you basically. You have to name it Green Snake. You got it, Brody. Um, okay, so here, dang it. Okay, I think this is the last puzzle we have to do. Um, I think it's just these two, so let's, there we go. <laughs> I love how we have the delightful bike music in this late game area. This one's kind of tough. Crap. Um, the mock bike is just very hard to control. Um, there we go. And I, I'm not using a regular controller. I'm using like a directional pad on my keyboard. Dang it. Um, all right. I'll get this eventually, I promise. There we go, there's that one. Lovely. And this is tough because I can't fall through that first one. I have to fall through the middle two up there. So let's see if I can do it. Oh, that helped a lot actually. Great, perfect. Oh, good job, Repel. I swear, I, I, I was counting my steps. That was on purpose. Uh, <laughs> that was amazing. Um, so now that gets us to that middle door and gets us to this one. And now we just gotta go around the bend here. And that gets us out here to where Rayquaza is. Um, and this is actually interesting. Rayquaza is not catchable until after the Pokemon League in the original Ruby and Sapphire. But here in Emerald, you can catch it before the Pokemon League. And it's definitely too strong. It's at level 70, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, and you can use it to really easily defeat the Pokemon League. I am going to try not to use it in our playthrough here. Um, let's see. Brody, I'm telling you, next next game we do, I'm going to let you name our starter. And we won't box that starter, I promise. Um, okay, so now we're going to try to do some stuff against Rayquaza here. Um, I guess Guzzle's as good a place as any to start, because again, it's at level 70. Um, and <laughs> it's going to like basically one-shot all of our Pokemon, so... Who knows if I'm even going to be able to whittle it down, but I'm going to try. And we do have our Master Ball, but I want to save that um, if we can. But let's see, this music is really epic. Oh yeah! Oh, so great. Um, this is wonderful. Let's see if we can paralyze it. Um, I'm hoping Guzzle can live one extreme speed from Rayquaza here. Because again, it is like the best Pokemon in the game and it's at level 70. Luckily, Guzzle is just... Guzzle is just that girl. Guzzle is just amazing. Guzzle's the goat. Um, it's still going to outspeed me probably, yeah, even though it's paralyzed. Um... Yeah, it's just, it's just Rayquaza. That's just what it is. Ooh, I'm gonna use Protect. Hooray! Um, all right, I'm gonna see, okay, Outrage. So now it's actually gonna be locked into this move. Um, absolutely, I will use next Pokemon. Um, I think the Pokemon that is best equipped to live in Outrage is gonna be Ron, right? Um, I love those little, like, bells there. Um, uh, I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to see if I can continue to lower its speed. Yeah, that's good. Um, we are actually able to outspeed now with the Rock Tomb and the Paralysis, so I'm pretty sure any Pokemon we have left is going to be able to outspeed Rayquaza. Um, I'm not positive. Okay. <laughs> not very effective, and it's still one-shots. Um... Let's try some Dragon Breaths to weaken it a little bit. 
Um, Outrage is a lot like Pedal Dance or Thrash. Um, basically, it's the dragon type version of that. Um, it's really strong, but you'll be confused after it. Um, oh my gosh, if only there was a type immune to dragon. Only if. Uh, that will definitely kill Blaine, which is okay for now. Yes. Um, I'm going to test something here. Rayquaza is four times weak against... Uh, okay, I'm not going to do it now because it's confused. Because it is four times weak to Blizzard. I'm not positive if Blizzard would kill it or not. Um, so I'm not going to try. Um, and we could get some flinches with Twister, potentially. And yes, especially because this um, hurting itself in confusion is very not consistent. So I have 27 Ultra Balls to try to catch this fool. All right, 0 for 1, that's okay. Okay, it snapped out of it. I don't remember, this Rayquaza might have rest. Um, so far we've seen Fly, Extreme Speed, Outrage. We're actually able to live one, that's great. Um, I'm gonna try one more Twister here. Maybe I can get a flinch, that would be delightful. Um, it knows Fly, Extreme Speed, Outrage, okay. This, it might no rest, um, this Rayquaza, so I'm hoping that we don't see that. Um, unfortunately, we're probably not going to be able to live many more Outrages. So I'm going to see if we can just catch it. Let's see. I'll throw as many Ultra Balls as I can. All right, there's two. Try to live one Piccolo, can you? Not quite. Um, yes. All right, this might be our last chance here, gang. <sighs> oh, paralyzing can't move. That gives us another shot. Um... <laughs> Come on. I was afraid of that. Oh my gosh. We are just keep, we keep getting gifted chances. Let's do it. Come on. Dang it. <laughs> In my, oh my Lord. Have I, ex have I exploited a loop here? Um, another, not even a shake. Okay, this is four turns in a row. It's been paralyzed. This makes me think I've, I'm on to something here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know if, I don't think I can throw a ball. Can I throw a ball at it if it's in the air? Oh, I can. How cool. Catch it. Oh, dang it. That would've been so sweet. All right, live the fly, James. Live the fly. Set. Um, Twas annoying. All right. So now, what do you think? Do we want to give it another try? Should we give it another try, or should we just use our master ball on it, Brody? What what say you? Because I like to try to catch it with the Ultra Balls. It's just so difficult to, like, whittle it down. Well, either way, I'm going to encounter it, so I might as well talk to it. All right. This music is still incredible. So epic. Oh, no. Da 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 da. Um, are we good now, Brody? Uh, I know Guzzle lives in extreme speed, or at least it did last time. Yeah, it doesn't say I dropped any frames unless there's like an ad or something. Um, and there's that paralysis, baby. Guzzle just knows what's up. Um, all right. You could miss fly. Yep, okay, good. 
Um, so what do you think? Should we try to just catch it in an Ultra Ball again, or should we just throw our Master Ball at it? The Rock Tomb animation is pretty sick, I must say. And there's rest. Okay, I knew it knew rest. Dang it all. Um, I'm pretty sure Iron Tail can lower its defense. That'll maybe make it easier to whittle down. Absolutely. Love to see it. And we want to keep using these rock tombs because now that it's not paralyzed anymore, we're not guaranteed to be faster than it. So if we can lower its speed as much um, as possible, that possible that would be great normal pokeball i'm gonna try I, oh hey i'll try um I, i'm at least gonna try an ultra ball um okay this isn't bad i will take fly um because ron will live one of those yeah there we go there we go we're getting our rock tombs we're getting our rock tombs in um da -da -da -da. It still outspeeds us. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, Ron holds on with the focus band. How great. Wonderful. I I get excited every time that happens. Okay, good. Um, now, its speed is down four stages. We should... Um, okay. No, you want a tier one Pokeball? I'll try. <laughs> I don't think it'll go well, but I'll try. Oh, wow. Oh, that would have been so great. <laughs> oh, my lord. All right. Okay. Um, so Altaria's definitely not going to live in Outrage. James maybe could live in Outrage. Um, so let's see if we can get... Uh, get Rayquaza put to sleep, and then see what we can do. Oh, don't worry, Brody. I'll, I'll, I'll try... We have ten normal Pokeballs. I'll see if we can catch him in a normal Pokeball. Um, because that's... That is sick. Um, Harry is our only prayer of living in outrage. Okay, you are confused, but you should fall asleep. Um... Let's see. I can't believe we're getting shakes on it. Um, oh, interesting. Was... Oh, no. I don't like that. Okay. Okay. Make it sleep next time. I understand. Well, I try I tried to make it sleep with yawn. It looks like after the outrage it was like overruled by the confusion. It, it, like I feel like that was a mistake or like a glitch or something that I'm not aware of. Um Yeah, because I thought, I mean, it should have fallen. I didn't mean to use protect. Oh, that's fine. Because it should have fallen asleep. Ah. Um, Ron can't live one. Um, Harry maybe can. Um, it, it definitely should have fallen asleep. Let's see if I can freeze it, if we can live in outrage. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't think any of our Pokemon can live in outrage. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> we need the Ziggy luck. Pray to Ziggy. I mean, at this point, at this point, I get it. Um, because that'll probably one shot. Absolutely. Absolutely, that'll one shot. Um, <laughs> I don't think James. Oh, it's still confused. Okay. Oh, double edge. Will that do too much? Okay, no. Um, I'm gonna just throw a ball right now while I'm thinking about it. No. I'll throw a Pokeball. Still nothing. It's okay. 
Um, okay. So I can hope that a rock tomb... Okay, it went to sleep. That's actually not too terrible. Because now we can lower its speed again. And I lowered its defense quite a bit. So we can at least get yeah some of those off. All right, I'm going to try a Pokeball before it wakes up. Let's see here. Dang it. All right, still asleep. Um, hold on, let me try an Ultra Ball just to see if that'll work. Still nothing. I've had better luck with the Pokeballs. Um, are we faster than it? No, it, I mean, but we'll tank an extreme speed. This should take it down to about the red. Just about. And a critical hit. Oh. It was a critical hit. That killed it. That's not what we wanted to happen. Very sad. Very sad about that. My lord. I feel like this is possible. I feel like it's possible, and it's bugging me that we're not able to do it. Okay. I'm going to try one more time. One more time, and we'll see what happens. Let's go. Come on. Um, you got the Ziggy luck with the Pokeball? Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, so now, let's... Okay, fly, that's fine. Guzzle should live a fly. Because I like to have the paralysis. There we go. There we go. We've gotten paralysis first turn every time. All right, so now it's asleep. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to see if we can get more of these rock tombs set up while it's asleep. Um, lower its speed a little bit. Okay, fly, we will live a fly. That is fine. Oh, and it missed, too. Ah, we missed as well. Gosh dang it. Um, extreme speed's not a big deal. Ron's tanking that every time. Oh, two misses in a row is terrible. All right. All right. Still not too bad. Um, hindering its speed, that'll kill Ron for sure. Hindering its speed really, really helps us a lot. Um... I'm going to lower that defense a bit again, because that was helpful. Oh my gosh, guys. Hit your moves! Come on. Um, at this point, Blaine should be faster. Okay, great. Maybe we can paralyze it again. That's super effective. That did nothing. <laughs> that did nothing. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Um, so it does look like it's very specially defensive. So I'm thinking I'll try I'll try some I'll try some twisters. I'm still just afraid to kill it with Blizzard at this point. Um, because we can also flinch with Twister, which would be nice. Um, okay, fly. That's not the worst thing in the world. Let's try. It does suck at being good at catching things. You're not wrong. <laughs> All right. Broke out of the Pokeball. Um, oh, wow. Um, I'm going to try to put it to sleep. Oh, it's still faster than Chimeco. That's brutal. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. So we have only Guzzle left. Which means we only have one ball left to throw, most likely. Oh yeah, it's gonna be... Am I throwing a Pokeball, Brody? I don't feel like we're gonna be able to catch it in a Pokeball, but am I throwing one? Or am I throwing an Ultra Ball? What do you think? This is most likely Pokeball. Love it. This is our last Hail Mary of the whole stream. Let's see. Nope. Didn't even give us hope. Didn't even give us hope. Uh, well, folks, 
Um, I'll go ahead and call it there. We can go ahead and try to catch Rayquaza a little bit more next stream. Um, we might just go ahead and use our Master Ball, because there's nothing else that we need our Master Ball for. Um, there are a few other things that we can try to catch with a Master Ball, but uh, we might as well just use it on Rayquaza. Um, maybe we can make a few more attempts next time, but at this point I'm open to it. <laughs> But, uh, no, Pokeball. Gosh, Brody. <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. This has been delightful. Thank you for being here with me today. Um, if you're watching this um, later on Twitch, thank you. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thank you. Um, super happy to bring you this game. Super happy to bring you my joy as usual. Um, and with that, have a delightful weekend. <laughs> Brody, you have a great weekend. I will see you next time. Um, and for the rest of you, thank you. Peace.